Okay, nice and easy today, I'm going to teach you how to make potted crab. The reason I've gone for this, which is a very traditional recipe, is because I've opened up a crab for my lunch today that's full of water. When crabs molt so that they can grow, they pump their shells full of water and their bodies and the tissues expand, breaks the shell off. Okay, They keep pumping water in until they're bigger while their shell is still really soft and are usually protected by another crab on top of them or hidden away somewhere where they can't be got to or both. Um, this basically protects them because they're very vulnerable to predation at this time. So this one has recently molted, very wet, so I've already picked the crab and I'm now going to use the meat in a different way. First off I'll pop it into a small frying pan and just dry it out a little bit and then I'm going to add some butter and some nutmeg and some lemon and some salt and some pepper. So as you can see I've got a plate of mixed picked crab. Okay, I've only got the white meat because the brown was looking just too wet. And a little bit of salt in it. A couple of cups of pepper. Of pepper. With my butter nearly clarified, I'm just going to add a little bit of pizzazz. There's a leaf of fennel and a leaf of bay from the garden. Okay, small sieve, a little bit of kitchen roll, just going to pop that on there. And slowly pour my clarified or semi clarified butter in so the fat can drip through without all the milk solids going in so that I get a nice clear yellow finish just the fat without the milk which is more liable to go off you can see it's dripping through nicely and sizzling on the fennel So if you've done things correctly you should end up with something that looks like this. I'll leave that to set and go a bit cooler and then I can enjoy it on a nice little bit of bread just spread on like pate and it tastes divine. So what I have is the butter lid as it were to protect it from going off and so on so that you can keep it a bit longer without the egg into it and then I have the crab itself. Okay, so the taste of it. Now, the proof, as they say, is in the eating. So, squish up all your bread nicely, like a pate. You've got your butter, you've got your pepper. I'm going to dig out a little bit more from underneath, just to make a nice, tasty little pot of crab. Sandwich as well, although I'm not going to put the top on it because I don't want to dilute the crab too much. Mix it all in. Look at that, yummy, yummy, yummy. And that is my potted crab sandwich. Some taste. 